Welcome back to the Survival Gardener Minute. I am David the Good, and today's question is from Kyle Burkett in Trinidad. Respect. So, he asks about using urine as a fertilizer. He said he likes watching my videos, he's gotten some good ideas, and he's been diluting it 20 parts water to one part urine, watering a couple of times a week. Is this too much? Is this too little? So let's talk really quickly about urine as fertilizer. Obviously, urine um, has a lot of nitrogen in it. It's a very good fertilizer, but it also has a decent amount of salt in it. And a lot of the minerals that go through your body are passed out of your system. It is a safe fertilizer and it works well as a foliar feed, but if you use it too strong, it will burn things. So along with questions about urine, I get a lot of questions about Dave's fetid swamp water, the big swamp water barrels that I use and I have written about extensively. And people say, how much should I use? How diluted should I use it? Well, that stuff is strong too. So what I'm going to tell you is, if you are diluting, uh, like Kyle is doing, 20 parts water to one part swamp water or urine, you can probably just do that indefinitely. It's going to get a little bit of fertility to plants every time you water. They're going to thrive on it. They're going to get just what they need. And as that floods around the root zone, they're going to absorb the stuff that they want. If you want to do it more like you've got regular irrigation, maybe you've got drip irrigation, maybe you have overhead irrigation, you want to just water with regular water most of the time and then occasionally give them some fertilizer, what I would do is do like six parts water to one part urine or maybe four parts water to one part fetid swamp water, somewhere in that range and, and hit it like every two weeks. So if you're going to do it stronger, hit it every two weeks that way, give it a good burst of fertility. Or if I see plants are turning yellow, they're not very happy, they look like they're a little beat, that's when I am going to bust out a stronger dose and give it to them. But you're going to learn over time because if you give them too much, they start to get really green and then what happens is sometimes the edges of the leaves get burned and then it becomes too much and you're like, whoa, that's, that's too much, too, too much. It becomes very obvious. If you're not giving them enough, they're languishing and they're maybe getting a little chlorotic looking and they're just not thriving the way you want, well, up your dosage a little bit because what you put into those barrels is going to be different in each batch. There's going to be different concentrations and it's not the sort of thing you can easily turn around and do a test on. You know, one week you might have eaten steak three times, so the protein levels in the urine are much higher, which means the nitrogen levels are much higher. And then, you know, another week you're eating mostly rice and beans or something. So you don't exactly know what the dosage is going to be. So I would say, you know, thin it out with water so it's getting a decent hit like every couple of weeks or thin it out even further like Kyle's doing and you could probably just water all the time. And the plants love that. It's called fertigation, fertilizer and irrigation at the same time. Just a little, you know, every time they get water, they get a little fertility, works really well. So there's a couple of ideas for you, both for the fetid swamp water, which I write about in compost everything and using urine as fertilizer. So thanks for watching, appreciate the question. Um, you guys be sure to stick with me as we go through the apocalypse together. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and until next time, may your thumbs always be green.